we definitely are and uh, our ears are open so if anyone has like ideas of what they think like you know a good beneficial product for the community is like i am all ears ben here and welcome to the podcast where we talk all things growing and smoking that beautiful herb that elevates our mind body and soul this is fog and grow more and more of these cannabis style products that like maybe growers are looking for? We definitely are. And uh, our ears are open. So if anyone has like ideas of what they think, like, you know, a good beneficial product for the community is like, I am all ears. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to, yeah, we're essentially just trying to add more value to the community with, with more, with more products. So we have crop defender that came out, I want to say in February of this year. Um, and so that's an oil-based pesticide, similar to like Las Coast plant therapy, uh, pure crop, um, we actually had a really, really amazing success story just a couple days ago with it. So, uh, shout out to Scoots Genetics on the Instagram. Uh, he's been ha- he was having um, what he pretty sure he got narrowed down to a leaf hopper problem, pest problem, and he tried uh, Doctor Zymes, he tried Lost Coast, and he tried Crop Defender. Nothing was working, and um, he even increased the dose of Crop Defender to two ounces per gallon. Nothing was working. He then finally increased the dose to three ounces per gallon. And in one treatment, the leaf hoppers were gone. So he was super stoked. So that's like, uh, yeah, it's definitely a, bit, a big win for crop defender. I'm going to have to try to up mine then because we deal with leaf hoppers year round pretty much. That's one of the most damaging ones I deal with besides aphids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, coming to, yeah, because like what we have advertised on the bottle is like one ounce per gallon. And I come to find out that's, you know, that, that has worked for aphids, for powdery mildew, for white flies, worked for uh, a few things. Um, but you can increase, you know, if it's not, if it, if, if it isn't working, you can increase the concentration to two ounces or three ounces. You definitely want to work your way up and then always use a test plant uh, to make sure you're not damaging and then spraying in no light or low light conditions and waiting for the leaves to dry before turning lights back on with those oil-based pesticides. Super important, folks. And don't dip your plants straight into the concentrate either. I had one guy do that. (laughs) 